This segment is brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. And today we're gonna to talk about vaccines when it comes to combination vaccines, safety of the vaccines, administering the vaccines, and what type of vaccines when you go and buy them to things to look for in those vaccines. I think that initially, you know, one of the biggest things a lot of horse owners ask me about is combination vaccines. Are they as effective as individually giving those vaccines to your horse? Because we all know there's the five way, the six way, even a, like a seven way vaccine. And how effective is that vaccine? Because maybe it's a little bit cheaper than buying those individually. In addition, we don't have to poke your horse as much uh, with vaccines if they're already in a combination. And a lot of those combination vaccines are pretty good safety aspects or measures when giving it to your horse and they do build up good immunity. However, there is some newer research that says or has uh, altered towards uh, having West Nile vaccine in its own separate type of vaccine when you're giving it to your horse. And so I think discuss with your veterinarian before you buy vaccines or administer them to them to figure out what's the best combination of vaccines to go with. Again, a lot of the, the combination vaccines are pretty effective in boosting a good immune system, but maybe having a separate West Nile and other aspects as you discuss with your veterinarian is something to think about when it comes to combination vaccines and sometimes being a little bit cheaper may not be building up an enough immune system for your horse. So think about those things as you're developing, buying vaccines in the spring and figuring out what's the best case for your horse in those combinations of vaccines you can give. The other thing would be as you buy vaccines is to always look at the serial number and expiration of the vaccine. So look on the bottles, look on the packaging, making sure that you're not buying expired products. Anything that's expired, then it's aspect of how effective some of those vaccines are uh, could be in question. And so making sure you're not getting expired vaccines or if you have vaccines already bought from last season, are they still effective? Look at the expiration and knowing how and where to store vaccines is always very important. It should be refrigerated, kept cool, and uh, the other thing is when you buy vaccines, who are you buying them from? Are they keeping those vaccines in a controlled environment? Did they warm up and then they put them back in the cooler? And how effective are those vaccines after they warm up is always in question. So knowing your supplier or who you're buying the vaccines for and making sure those vaccines are stored properly so then they're effective for your horse is also very important. So you can get that based on the expiration and uh, discussing with your veterinarian or your supplier how they're controlling or their control measures of keeping those vaccines safe and supplied correctly is also something to always remember. Also remember whenever you're given vaccines, it's always deep IM. So deep in the muscle when you give IM injections to your horse, inch and a half length needles when you give those. Sharp needles are also very important and a fresh needle per horse is also very important. You do not want to reuse needles between horses because you can always transfer diseases from one horse to the other by trying to reuse needles uh, when you're vaccinating your horse. So that's a quick little rendition of safety of vaccines and what to look for when you're buying vaccines, whether through your veterinarian that you can discuss with or through different suppliers of different vaccines that are out there. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center with Horsin' Around and we'll see you around.